Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We're going to be doing day nine of the daily scripture writing, which is Titus 2, 11 through 15. It's not much at all. So before I begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be great. They appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get started. I will show you the um, the list once I finish reading the Bible, and then we can start with the scripture reading. So all my little poor tabs. My tabs are too heavy for this Bible, I think. So it's kind of like pushing. I don't know if you can see that. It's pushing the tab in. So I may have to use a little tape on it later. So again, 11 through 15, double checking, yep, and Titus 2, so Titus 2 and 11. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. While we wait for the be for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a pe to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager to do what is good. These, then, are the things you should teach, encourage, and rebuke with all authority. Do not let anyone despise you. Well, that's a powerful message. So how is everybody doing and how's your scripture writing? Um, today is the 8th, but I am doing my scripture writing so that... At like 6 o'clock in the morning, you'd be able to see this. And by, you know, whenever you can do it. Oh, I like this pen. I didn't think I was going to. So whenever you are able to do it tomorrow, you know, that'd be great. Plus, I will be, you know, so busy with work. And then by the time I get home, I was girl tired. So I just wanted to get it out. And yeah. So the pen I am using, I am right now loving. My daughter picked it up today. She picked up a couple of colors for herself, obviously. And her and her boyfriend. He's a pen fanatic, I guess, too, as well. So let me just finish writing this one. Let me number 12 so I know. This is the Energel Liquid Gel Ink. And this is the point seven. So you see the barrel. Um, can you see that? Yeah. So it's a pretty color, right? Then I picked up this one, which is the Energel Permanent Gel Ink. So what is the difference between both of these? Okay, so this one is the liquid version, and this one is the Permanent Gel Ink. And again, still a 7. Does this one have... Yeah. So I don't know if you're able to see that. And if you have any questions, you just leave it in the comments below. And when I get a chance, I can answer you on the pens. But this one here, the liquid one, is it's writing really smooth. Uh, I'm going to check for, you know, like bleeding and stuff right now. So let's check that. No, it's got a little shadow, like you can actually see it. The paper quality is a really good pop quality, though. But yeah, so you got like a little bit of a shadow, like around here. But I mean, you, you're not going to notice. If I didn't point it out, you would have not noticed. Um, does it go? Oh no, I thought that was going to go like to the next side, but it doesn't. So pens are like one of my favorite planning items. And especially, I used to love, before I get into what I, you know, like now, I used to love colored pens, like colored gel pens. 
and that was my go-to like I wanted my page to be pretty so I wanted to make sure it was in color but now as I get older it's the black ink and I don't know why it is black ink that is my go-to pen so in the comments below let me know like what go-to pens you go to um I know a lot of people say their go-to for planning items is like some say of course stickers right some say sticky notes and I could see that being because of you know if you have something later on you know in your life like we're in January so I'm gonna say March and you have an appointment in March it's great to put it on a sticky note put it away and then you know well, you're going to put it for March. And when you see it, then you'll be like, oh, that's my appointment. So that is good for that. But for me, I don't even know where I went on this tangent. But yeah, so with me, I love black ink. And I don't know why. Is it because of age? Like you get older, you start to like different things. And I've noticed I have like... The food I've eaten is totally different than what I eat now. Um, like now, I barely even eat lunch. As I get older, I think things change. Hopefully for the best, though. But look at how pretty this pen is writing. I'm supposed to be doing the verses, and I'm over here, like, awing the pen. But it's a very pretty pen. It's great for scripture writing because if you look at it, I'm not smearing anything and it's not coming on my hand. So that's a great thing. But this book, and I had a comment today about this book. I'm going to find it and I'm going to link it. And it's the, let me show you the thing. I washi taped some pages. It's called The Green Room. So... You just type in green room and then put journal or something. But I'm going to go and look for it later on today to see if I can find it for you. Because, yeah, this book here, it's cream colored pages. So, just so you know, it is cream colored pages, but I don't mind it. Because it looks like when you're, like, years to come, it's going to feel to me like vintage. And I don't know why, but that's just to feel like it. But I love this book. And I'm in love with this pen. So this book and pen is going great together. Yeah. yeah, so it's been it's been a tiring day today. Like seriously. You seen what time I got up from the first video. And then just been so tired. I don't even know why. It's probably because I do get up at 5 o'clock in the morning every single day. Every day. Even if I don't work, I still get up at 5. I guess that's a good thing, but then I feel old. <laughs> like, like the older people, they get up at early in the morning at the crack of dawn. They go to bed at 8 o'clock. And, yeah. And there was another comment I got about the Bibles. And that I want to thank you for. Because I'm going to go ahead and order it. Because, again, I am a baby Christian. Like, I just started, like, going back into it. Like, I've always did scripture writing. But did I understand it? I don't know. But I know this is my, what I want to do. And so, with that being said, I want to thank you for, you know, inboxing me the information. And if anybody else is interested in, like, the Bibles and stuff, um, maybe she could inbox you as well. And I don't like saying names on here, and I don't know why that is. But I just don't want to call nobody out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody to feel overwhelmed or you know something like that so that's why i don't say it so if you want me to say who you are you know just leave a 
you know, comment, DM me again. Let me know. Yeah, it's fine. Because I wouldn't want to be called out like, oh, Maserati said this and Maserati said that. And then, yeah. So that is the reason I don't say names. But I do want to thank every single one who has left a comment. So if I didn't get back to your comments today, because um, I was watching Chicago PD. <laughs> I love that show. Chicago Med, Chicago PD. And I know it's Chicago, right? So you're going to be all for your shows. But I don't know those shows. It's Chicago PD, Chicago Med, and Chicago Fire, I think it is. Those are like my, my go-to shows. I don't watch anything but Chicago PD, mainly. But now that Chicago Med and the Chicago Fire is on, yeah, I watch those. And yeah, those are my go-to shows. So from 7 to 10, I am like so into the TV. And only when they're on. Like if they're not on and if Chicago PD is not on, I don't watch anything else. Like I don't, oh, I watch Law & Order. SBU, and it's like you learn a lot of things and then it's sad too but yeah so that's like the only things I do besides planning and crafting and things like that so with this verse I'm actually liking this one here it says do not let anyone despise you I mean that is right on point this one really touches so if anyone's interested in the Bible that I'm using now which is the NIV version but what I want to get is and the lady was showing me you know online the you know like your beginning Christian so what am I doing? I was going to show you the Bible. So this one's the Holy Bible, the NIV version. And it's, of course, the large print. I love large print. But if I can't have a large print, I'm still going to order the other Bible. Because that's what I'm, you know, wanting. So day nine is done. So you're going to get to see this so early in the morning. So let's go ahead and mark that off. I'm going to put the pen back here so I don't lose the page. I got my little munchies on my desk. I'm supposed to be like getting ready to like do things, but I have my munchies. So there's nine. Let's set up ten. We have some time. So yeah, so that's that one. So what we're going to do is put washi, and I kind of like, should I do this one? No, I'm going to do the one I was using. So I'm going to stick to the same thing, only because the pink is blending in with this pink. And all I do is just do the one line of washi. I don't try to make it look fancy. I'm just separating it for the day. I think that is what's best. Just separated for a day, and I love this tool. This is, and you could probably find it at Dollar Tree. Hide putty knife, and then I use. Sometimes I'll use this one, and I I've had this for so long. And it's like something like buttercream or something. I think it is. I have no idea, but yeah. So I've been using that for washi. I'm just covered up the, the U and the Y so the next one we're going to do for day 10 is Jude my wash is not sticking very well 1 20 through 25 oh that's not bad and then January you guys see where the wash is coming up 10 and the reason I put the dates like this is because I want to look back and be like, oh, on January 10th, I did, you know, scripture writing. But yeah, so it's getting a little chunky here. So let's put 
one in here. And that's just to get me to start, you know, for the following day. But let's look at this book. Ha! So this is the UPC of the book. It's called The Green Room, 60 through 70% Recycled. Our journals are made with a paper containing 60 to 70% recycled fi fiber and print it with non-toxic soya-based ink. And if you go here, this is the information. And this is a 2016. And I got it, I think, a couple of years ago. And I believe at Target. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, post this right now on the comment. So again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. And as always, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.